Good morning, everybody. Hi, happy Friday, and thank you so much for joining. I'm here today doing my makeup for the start of my day. <laughs> uh, I hope you can join me. I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please give it a like and feel free to leave comments down below because I would love to hear from you and I do, res I do my best to reply. So here we are. Um, you could see just a itty bitty of my makeup and what we're gonna do is we're going to get started. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> live. So what I'm going to start today is, well, what I've done so far is I showered, you know, <laughs> I blow dried my hair, whatever. Um, I have rosacea because you can probably already tell with how red the skin is. Actually, it's not so bad. And that's because I use uh, medical cream or lotion, it's called. Uh, so when I got out of the shower, I use, what did I do first? I put, um that M water. <laughs> uh, I put it on a cotton pad and then I wiped it across miscellaneous or something like that. Uh, one day I'll figure out how to pronounce that properly. So it was a toner. I did that first. Then I did um, oil, which is bergamot and rose hip. I think I did that. I put um, the oil all over and then I put my lotion. So if I wouldn't be using the lotion, if I'm, it's, it's bedtime, because um, I shower different times of the day, whatever, um, I would put on, hi, welcome, thank you so much for joining. I would put on uh, night cream, but for today, for this morning, I put on my uh, rosacea cream to start. So we're gonna make this redness go away. And I know that the light is a little bit off, uh, so I apologize for that. I was, I'm trying to use, hi, thank you so much for joining. I'm trying to use a different angle and to see, to see what works well. Hi, thank you so much for joining. We're going to start today with using our primer, which is like an old, old primer. And, um, I do see there's a little bit left. If this fails me, I do have a little kitty sample of, uh, this guy, Smashbox, which is photo finish foundation primer oil oil free pore minimizing and if you're looking at my nails I cry and I didn't cry but I was just like just staring at this guy um later today I'm either going to be shooting a video or I will be live streaming my nail polish uh fix up clean up and uh, you know at home manicure so stay tuned for that um and I'll have the the glam look the glam at home <laughs> natural look on my face so uh, if you have your makeup, let's go. If you don't and you're watching, you want to comment or whatnot, that's great. Let me just peek at what noise I'm hearing. My doggie is upstairs. But, um, so I have uh, three cats and a dog. They may come around, they may not, um, and they make noise. May make noise. And I'll be like, huh, what happened? What's going on? So here we go. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Primer. Alrighty, so that came out rather quick. If uh, you've watched my other <laughs> attempts at this, it takes forever to pull, uh, to yank it out. And um, good thing I have a video for editing because I can cut down on this trying to get the lotion out of the foundation uh, tube. But so I use my hands for my foundation. And actually like I did last time I put oh the other thing I do on my lips because my lips get dry because I'm talking um is I put um here, let me just do here I put on <laughs> chopstick as I call it this one's Blistex and it was a six pack uh at Costco and I just uh yanked one out and that's what I'm using uh just on my lips so that they don't start cracking drying out because that's not going to look so great for the lipstick so now I'm going to find my primer. One sec. And I think I do. I my primer for my um, eye makeup. So I have this uh, guy here, and I think I noticed last time it stuck better. So I do want to take an attempt to do more of the. Uh, eye primer. Yeah. Eye primer. I think I called 
the Mercy Foundation, which it's not. But, um, I have a mirror down here as well as uh, the camera. <laughs> So, uh, I'm just checking out which, which is going to help me more. And, um, yeah, this is fun. I love doing this. And, uh, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, we're stuck inside practicing social distancing. I am in Canada and we are allowed to go out. Um, it's not a lockdown. I expect it will be, but hey. Anyways, uh, here is my trick that I use religiously. Um, I have very oily skin and some video I watched um, way back when, not too long ago because I should have known this my whole life. <laughs> um, I've been using this for five or so years. This is the cheap version of the uh, Urban Decay. Uh, I since, since Urban Decay came out and since this came out there's been many more out. Hi, thank you for joining, but I still continue to use this one. It's fine. It works for me. Well, I love it, actually. Uh, the price does vary. It goes from like $10 to $12 or $14. And it's like, you guys, you, this used to be cheap. Er. <laughs> Anyways, so the trick is for oily face skin is to put the primer on. And before you put your foundation, you spray and you let it dry. And that'll kind of seal your oils in. And if you're thinking this is kind of like maybe unhealthy, I haven't had any breakouts as a result of this and I do have uh, skin that breaks out if I don't use my Clarisonic regularly and um, I had used it for the last live stream, my lovely Clarisonic. <laughs> uh, this guy is like 10 years old, I don't know, I love him. Um, and so I used the, this is the, the brush, don't look, it's dirty. <laughs> um, I used the um this guy right with the brush uh at my last live stream and then i left it out and i kept meaning to put it in the shower and i forgot so i was using my hand uh fingers which is what many people do right they use uh, their hands for me and my skin i get so much buildup from the oil i used to use scrubs like every day i'm like take this off like the film the it starts to get it starts to look like dry skin because it, uh, the oil, I don't know, builds up and dries. Hi, thank you so much for joining. So I had to use my Clarisonic and this is, I think, why that happened, unless it was from the uh, earlier makeup, but I'm not gonna, I don't know. So anyway, so we are going to spray because I am uh, oily skinned and this, <laughs> don't talk while doing this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I have my lovely fan. And so I fan myself. Yes, these roots are coming up. And uh, I do get my dye job, my bleaching at home. And uh, I do like this color. This looks better, right? And I need a haircut. Like, <laughs> I'm not the only one. I know that. So I'm like, maybe I should just try looking online like how to trim hair. Um, I do like the length of it, but I am getting carried away. Let me, I still feel wetness on the bottom lip and up here. So I'm fanning it down so I can just dry it quick. Other times if I'm not fanning it while I'm getting ready, I am brushing my teeth. I'm getting stuff ready into my purse or my wallet. Um, bringing something to the front door so I remember like if I'm going to a friend's house, maybe I'll bring a drink or I'll bring food. Um, or even just what? Um... I don't know, coupons? We don't do coupons anymore. Hi, <laughs> thanks so much for joining. But I'm just running around the house. Hi, Tony. Thank you for joining. Um, <laughs> I'm doing my makeup. This is just the beginning. I'm doing primer. Um, it's kind of dry. Like, I don't mean dry like bad dry. Dry like the um, wetness has settled. Uh, so now I'm going to use my trusty foundation which I've been using for years and uh, shockingly to me my uh, complexion color has not changed I am still NW13 I actually went from 15 to 13 and um, then when I would get tanned hi thank you so much for joining when I would get tanned I'd be like okay what color am I now and it's like 15 it's like are you kidding me like this is tanned to me so uh, 
that's that's my life <laughs> first world problems for me um let's use a brush trying to remember where i put my brushes i use this baby eventually i will clean them guys but um <laughs> so what i do is i put this on quick with a uh, small brush dabbing brush instead of like whacking this guy straight on my face and all this cross contamination I put it on my face and I do a little section at a time and what I do is I start putting it on quickly so that I can have it smeared and not have any like sharp dries on it does that make sense so this is a little bit that I put on because if I leave it this is just going to show uh, a faint mark around and it's going to be harder for me to spread. It's like a dry quick on my face. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I do this with everything. Like um, when I do uh, contouring, when I do eye makeup, everything uh, likes to settle on my face really quick. So I have to, uh, what do I have to do? I have to do this quicker. And as you can see, this is like super crazy fast super crazy fast hi tony thank you for joining and thanks to the other people that are online <laughs> um if you have other ways of doing things uh especially for oily skin i would love to hear it so please feel free to share and i apologize for my roots because i'm looking here in the mirror mirror in my um camera and i'm like damn this looks so bad so what I did a few years ago was I stopped coloring when I stopped bleaching it and I let it grow out. And um, I work at home, so I was like, eh, I can do this. Uh, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna see how it's going. This is before YouTube came along. And I'm like, <clears throat> and I said, I just let it grow out. And the next thing you know, it started looking like an ombre and I kept getting compliments. I'm like, this is my blonde hair growing out <laughs> and um when i would look in the mirror i would be like this looks pretty good and i'm like i look like i have highlights and then finally somebody's like those are it turns off after one minute so i'm just turning it on again oh yeah I'll look at that mess um and so i would what would i do i would think that they're highlights and somebody's like um, they're uh, your gray hairs. We can see all your grays. And I'm like, oh, what? And I'll go to the mirror real close and I'd be looking and I'd be like, they can see that? And it's like, well, if one person, two people tell me, I'm like, oh, I need to start coloring. And I think I went to, or, uh, there's that guy. <laughs> That's it. And, um, hmm. <laughs> I should do like a little mustache or something see how quick this is it's so much better than smacking a blender on my face I smack other stuff on my face and so much better than um well, I do use the blender but I wouldn't be using hi thanks for joining everybody I wouldn't be using I'm, I'm using my foundation from my hand and putting it on the brush and then I am doing this and my redness is going away I'm always impressed how it goes away and uh, I'm starting to warm up to the idea of how pale my skin is. Uh, I've mentioned it earlier where um, I'm always red faced and I don't use um, seeds. I'm many different colors and um, yeah, pale. And again, I'm looking at these roots, you guys. I need to, uh, <laughs> I need to hide them somehow. Um, let me just take a look at my camera at my camera this is my camera i was looking in the mirror and uh here's me being a bad girl and putting two spots at the same time uh what the heck was i saying i started coloring my hair and it was like uh i went i didn't go straight blonde right away you can see how dark my roots are and i went um kind of like a almost a strawberry red and it looked really nice and i was so impressed with myself oh it's been like two minutes maybe because this goes on for a minute uh, so I've been smacking, smacking, I've been putting this on me maximum of two minutes and now maybe more. So I have some extra stuff. And you guys, I don't like to waste. So I'm going to be a bad girl. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to put on my lips because I'm going to show you what I do with my lips. This is a trick I learned. I'm just doing that. <laughs> Thank you for joining. 
to make my lips look bigger. I saw a tutorial and I loved it. So I'm trying it. So I'm doing it. Where I, uh, this has more foundation and then your lips look bigger. So I'm uh, putting the rest of this in here. Dun, 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 dun. And it looks like this. So I think I'm I'm done. I'm gonna use concealer, which is still the Mac or also the Mac, and this is NC15, right on top of my mess over here. And I've left my house many times with this on my skin, going, oh. and if I leave it on too long, it uh, it gets what am I what am I saying? It also gets like stained on my lovely blender. Here's where I smack my face. <laughs> and I'm trying to practice on not being so rough with my face because everybody is so gentle. The videos that I all watch and here I am going smack, smack, smack. So here's me being nicer to it, gentler. Oh, I realize I didn't put a lot on my nose because from this angle, it looks red, right? Yeah. Tony, I don't know. I didn't reply to you earlier because, you know, you can figure it out, right? And uh, Tony was asking what the corona count is. I don't know. I don't want to know. It gives me anxiety. So uh, all I know is, well, not all I know, but I know to stay home. I know the important stuff. The number's not going to do anything good for me. So um, I'm taking care of me and I'd like to have, I'd like to make sure other people are taking care of them. And uh, whatever works for you to get the information that you need that you stay home and you don't spread it uh, is great. So to cover my zits, I do this. And then yes, it still kind of shows, you know? But um, it looks a little weird. I have, uh, I have strange lighting today, so it's harder for me to be able to tell what the heck is going on on my face. Hmm, you know what I'm gonna just do? I'm just gonna tap around here with the leftover uh, from my face, my face from my hand. Guys, are you seeing red spots here? This lighting. I got the new camera. Um, it's not what you think. Uh, it is the GoPro Hero 8. And I'm super excited because it'll be great for my pets. It'll be great for the pets. Uh, have still moments, see what the heck they're doing, who's doing what when I'm not around. But, excuse me. So, here's my blank canvas, and next is my contour. <laughs> so, I was using this inexpensive baby, and um, it was called... I'm always forgetting. It's up at the front. Dolce de Luce Wet and Wild Contouring Palette. I uh, used this guy, but finally I pulled out. Oh no, is it here? Yes, it's here. I had this baby. I was using the brush, which is this guy for my contouring. And the brush that I used to apply the contour seems to have, where are you? It's a flat one, it's like the, oh, is this, no, that's not it, that's for my brows. I'll use this baby out later. Did it go somewhere when I was taking a picture? I don't know, hold on. I'm trying to find it a second time and it's not here maybe when I was bringing these upstairs I dropped my I dropped this because I was holding it like you know and uh, and the jar fell out I am NOT married Tony are you married I can't find it I'm just gonna use this guy because it's a flat brush that is what I was using um, earlier which is a bigger, just a little bit bigger brush. So this is what I do to apply the contour. And so I started using this one. Let me open it. 
and uh, here it is and I use this one up here and I think this one's called the uh, medium light palette but I can't find a name on this guy um, here it's not it's not giving me the names but anyway so I use this baby and it is very helpful so here's what I do it is difficult to see guys I am so sorry And it's like this. What I do around here is I go under my cheekbone because my cheekbone's right here. Uh, it could be even lower. And I don't wait too long like I mentioned. I go up there and then I go blend, 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 blend. And I can't do too much blending because my foundation comes off and my redness shows through. So I have to be quick. And this is why I do little sections at a time so that they don't see I'm not liking this to me this looks a little bit red today's not uh, not today but this is just not working out to its greatest if you guys see better let me know uh, I'm gonna I can try watching this after here's my cheek underneath here so I should be going in here I'm shocked by my lighting. It's really throwing me off. It looked good, but I'll stop complaining now. Don't show that gap. What does that mean? Don't show the gap. Tony? Do you do makeup, Tony? I think it's cool for men to do makeup. I really encourage it. I really encourage it and I don't mean like you have to do anything fancy or colorful but to starters what really helps which is what women do is they cover their under eye area so if you get a foundation and yeah I'm really really serious like not joking um, is if you do put uh, if you do get foundation or concealer use it underneath your eye men it's night and day your eyes are gonna just pop and it's gonna be in that you know sexy pretty not pretty sexy handsome way um everybody on tv does it right all the men uh whether they're news anchors or they're celebrities or politicians they all they all do that so um you guys can see <laughs> i don't have a chin this is genetic so uh or a jawline so what i do is i fake it so here's my uh jawline and what i used to do is like lean over and do this but watching uh the j-lo uh, makeup artist he says you just stay in position and it's like oh yeah because i do walk around like this and i don't walk around like this right thank you so much for liking this video i really appreciate it i'm glad you're liking something from here <laughs> what the heck my my uh my mirror so here we go so here's the jaw, I'm feeling it around and I can go underneath it. And here we go. My fake, my fake jawline. And I can't go here because I got the little bendy thing, but that's what I enjoy. If you do something different, that's great. If you don't have contour, what I used to do before contour is blush. And yeah, it's pink, but or can be pinkish toned or whatever. It still works. It worked for me, give it a go. I don't not recommend it. Whatever you have, try. And if it works, so be it. I mean, there's so many colors out there. Hi, thank you so much for joining. I'm doing the contour uh, to make it show that I have a jaw. <laughs> One day when uh, our new world uh, goes away, I'm gonna look into getting this lovely thing fixed. Um, but till then, I can enjoy what I have and uh, play around with the makeup and I hope this is what you get a chance to do uh, today as well with me or if you're watching this at a later time I hope you're enjoying it and if you do please hit like please subscribe please comment I do these videos and other videos well this is a live stream so I'm experimenting and trying out different things that are uh, helpful useful for uh, for what people would like to see from me so here we go. This is my natural look. I have my highlight, or sorry, my, uh, 
I apologize so much. I am not happy with this job. And this one looks way better. It's It must be the lighting. Because this just looks like I haven't blended it. But... Uh, another trick that they learned, which I, which works for me and I like, is doing this on the bottom lip. Because this will make your lip look better, bigger, because there's a shadow. There's a shadow here. Right? And then this one is iffy for me. Let me go to the mirror. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right for me, but you put the contour up on the top. The last time on the live stream that I did it, it looked to me so off. What I did do also that helped me. So, hey, Brendan, thank you so much for joining. Is your wifey on <laughs> or watching? Say hi to her for me. Uh, I'm doing my contouring of my lips. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of shadow. So, so I'd love to hear her tips. Thank you so much for joining. And what the heck she does that works for her. Some neat tricks. I was just just checking you out. Yeah! <laughs> Today is uh, the day, the start of my day. So I'm putting on makeup. And hopefully I'm going to do another live stream later. Um, which may involve baking uh, and or doing these monster nails. I don't mean monster, but just they need work. She's getting ready to go out weekly outside trip. Oh, is this groceries or is this like other things or groceries plus other things? I haven't, I was last out on Thursday a week ago and our fridge is still full because we are consuming chocolate. <laughs> you guys are very healthy. Um, I still have my fruits and vegetables in the, um, uh, in the fridge. Free, fridge yeah fridge and we were going to be buying uh frozen vegetables from walmart but they turned off the um the delivery post three days and i was supposed to get it in nine days so i was quite peeved by that uh but at the end of the day i don't need the food and april 2nd i mean isn't here yet i don't think i'll need the food i was just like just get it just in case i'm putting my stuff away but i don't mean to finish my contouring let me see so today's today's an in-home day <laughs> as is many of my other days and look at this I picked up the wrong one <laughs> the wrong brush uh Tony says yeah but she show not show her private parts right what I'm not following Tony we are doing makeup on this uh live stream so I was going to be contouring, so I dip the I uh, dip the brush in here. Sometimes I smack it, sometimes I don't. There is not fallout here. And I'm going to do my lovely nose. And I think it's funny for me doing it because I clearly don't have a snatched, small, thin nose. And it's hard for me to figure out how to do the shadowing on this this big guy here <laughs> uh, is your wife having fun doing makeup too or like is she doing something else to keep her entertained and hobbies brandon i've been doing this and i've been doing youtube and uh socializing with people online it is so much fun talking with people from around the world um people share with me like animal pictures oh animal pet pictures they have animal and pet pictures because there's people that have farms or have animals in there yeah farms i guess we can call them brandon says yeah she has been making masks oh so i'm so i'm finding out i'm finding out i'm really like okay this is the only way it goes is that it's the n95 that's the only mask that can protect you against the particles and um and what and so the masks that other people are doing if they're knitting or something it's just to cover on top of the mask so that you can use your mask longer that's my nose <laughs> i'm looking at the, like really to me it looks funny my nose is funny funny shaped it's like long enough 
because um, I'm Polish, and so I have uh, what my grandma always called it as potato nose. Like, Polish people have potato noses. At least that is in my uh, genetics, genetics in my, in my family. Not everybody, of course, but um, yeah, my grandma, she had a potato nose, so she's like, you have the same one. So here's my <laughs> potato nose. And uh, yeah, I don't know how to make it like snatched because it's long and then it's got the ball here. <laughs> Talking about noses. Uh, let's see what, uh, what chats I missed. And so Brendan said, they say that, but then they also are asking for masks, so who knows what's true. Yeah, I have one uh, N95 from when I was renovating that uh, I bought a five pack, I think. And uh, it's one mask and I'm like, well, do I give it to the hospital? And, and then I'm thinking, why would they take it? There's one mask in this box and it could have been touched. I mean, it could have been, it was most definitely touched. So what could they possibly do with this? They're going to be like, contaminated, we're not doing it. And then I go to find, to deliver one mask. And uh, on that note, Brandon says, I figure it's better than nothing to have just for the elevators. Yes. Yes. When I lived uh, in the building, I, I'm thinking like, how do you not get it? If you're in the elevator, it's going to spread. So I... I feel so fortunate that I actually um, have a backyard so that I've made the decision to stop taking the dog out on outings. I can't say the word W-A-L-K because she will maybe come up. Yeah, she's not here. She maybe come up and want to take part in the outing. Here is my chin that I'm making because my genetics, I embrace my genetics. This is what it is and I have to make fun of it. Make fun of it. I have to... I want to say make do, but I don't even mean make do. I mean appreciate it, accentuate it, show off the uniqueness of it. So uh, show off or bring it in line with society where, you know, I have this and this is how I work with it to sh show it off. What am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm not bashing myself. I'm just like, this is what I have. I know it. And uh, this is what I try to do to show excuse me, burp. um, to fix it a little bit. So here we did contouring under the chin, jaw, under the cheekbones, on the upper and lower lips, on the nose, and what I also do, which who cares, because these roots, maybe I should just sit like this, and then my hair, guys, eh, uh, Brandon says, I know nothing about makeup other than it works, yes, it works and it looks great and it takes a long time. Whenever I'm getting ready, I have to, not have to, but to have it properly done, I need a, an hour and a half. Um, rushing is an hour and my problem with rushing then becomes, oh, you know what? I'm going to skip foundation. And so I'll do or the bronze or whatever. And I have rosacea. So it's kind of like the worst for me because the point of being made up is that I don't show the rosacea. <laughs> And so it always starts with the foundation and it takes forever for me to do it. Uh, so luckily I use my, uh, my Mia. Tony asks, are you able to understand? Tony, what do I, what am I to understand? I'm not sure uh, what we are talking about. Um, Brandon, I would suggest, not like for you specifically, but men, embrace uh concealer because i think it makes guys look night and day different and you know girls get all pretty and do so much it'd be nice for guys to get pretty too and again nothing for you but just embracing it because we have male celebrities on who are always doing it and i'm like pro uh makeup to feel pretty or handsome <laughs> or or whatnot so i mean if you want to tell me you do it yay Oh, good for you! Brandon's used it! And it does work. Yeah! Exactly! Like, you're still a human being. You still have skin, uh, you know, that can appreciate uh, foundation or enhance stuff on your body, body face. Uh, yay! 
You'll check me out later. Okay. Okay. So I'm guessing that means you're going. So thank you so much for joining. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment down below or here in live chat because <laughs> I can see it in live chat. So we've done uh, contouring. I might go back to it. I really still am learning to embrace. Take care. Bye, Brandon. Enjoy your meal today. Your healthy, fresh meal today. Um, and um, and I'm so I'm still learning to embrace my my paleness. And I sometimes tend to cover it up because it's like this is too much. I'm used to too much paleness. I'm used to the redness darkening of the face, and it's like you can't do that darken it back up because then it's the same thing why does why do you put foundation on I put foundation on to try to blend with my my skin right so um, I blend it according to my neck as opposed to my so tanned arms <laughs> because I don't want to I don't want to use um, foundation on this uh, down here because I have very oily skin and so there's a ton of transfer even with uh, sprays and all that stuff because I'm so oily Okay, so we did that. Let's get to the eyeballs. And I always start with, not eyeballs, eyelids. So here's my favorite palette. I have I have other palettes um, and I can't go away from this one. And I'm not a neutral girl, but I really am. Like I don't think I am, but I most definitely am because I'm afraid of putting color on me, although I do love color and bright, and bright things. So here's my palette, which is still not um, hitting pan because I don't, uh, use a lot of makeup, but when I do I do a lot of it, but we're going natural look today guys So the color I start using most of the times is this one to put on most of my eyelid kind of like a base a base color or D the uh, removing I'm like de-escalating no <laughs> taking out the color that is here on the eyelid I go here. If it's nighttime, if I'm putting makeup for night, I can use this one uh, or I'll blend the two. But uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm slow to appreciate, I'm slow to go dark uh, on the eyes. But when I do, I realize and I learn that it looks great. So uh, when I would do my makeup, it's like, oh, it doesn't look like you're wearing any. Can you do more? So it's like more, more, more. And then I learned just go just go in so here's uh what i use and you guys are gonna be like wow let me just find my bl blender blending brush my blending brush is this one right here <laughs> and um this is what works for me so i have hooded eyes there's some fallout from here so i tapped it and um one thing i also learned which maybe you guys already know is to put makeup on with your eye open and i would usually do even less than this from the corner but i know to go up further towards my iris because more is more <laughs> so i dab this on i pat it in and then i'm looking at uh my eyelid hi thank you so much for joining i'm looking at uh, my eyelid and you can see that i have hooded eyes and if i put something on uh here you can't see it <laughs> so I have to go higher so I'm faking where I guess my eye is so I go up this way Tony says and I have seen your makeup tutorial template thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> um, so I have to go up higher and uh, this looks like a terrible job I know um, it won't be so I go up like this and then I start blending and I'm also learning the further you put your hand away uh, from the from the uh, from being close to the bristles, the better the blending happens. So I am blending it with my hand on the more of the tip of the end of the brush and I blend. And if I would do my eye brown here and then I move on to the next one to replicate it. It would get stuck I call it stuck where the color doesn't want to blend and you could see the harsh lines of where I had put the um, eyeshadow on so we got this hi dimply bean thank you so much you're so sweet 
If you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more of these. I'm really enjoying the live streams because they are so interactive and I love chatting about, uh, you know, whatever, whatever is appropriate to discuss on daytime TV. <laughs> Uh, so here I'm talking about all sorts of things and uh, now I was putting on uh, brown eyeshadow whatever this color is on my lovely Smashbox palette and it is called I think an M6 all right M6 I think it's that one down there so here we have that baby over there doing the edges of my eye and then I do more of this brown. This is the brown that I use to make my eyebrows. And I know about using using pencils. I can't, here's, here's my eye. Look at that problem. <laughs> here's me blending out the problem now. Um, the pencils for me take too long to fake the bristles. And for my eyebrows, I think I have like sufficiently enough to use the eyeshadow. And I have a great love for IT Cosmetics. And when they came out with their universal brown pencil, I was just like, yes. And I wanted to, and I got like two or three of them. I was so upset when one of them came out, the, the stick, the stick, the, the color. The, the crayon came all out and uh, it was very skinny and I couldn't get it back in and I'm like yeah but I have another one I just don't know where it is so wow my eye color is really coming out but my blending job is not amazing today or we can blame it on the lights what do you think <laughs> what do you think are we blaming it on the lights let me see here this is dark uh, for me for daytime, but this is a neutral. And why does this eye look darker and this eye lighter? What do we do? Let's just pretend that's not the case. <laughs> and uh, you guys will see better on the camera than I do right now. So here's what these babies look like. And for neutral, I go in with this middle color for safety. But I'm gonna do a little bit of splash today because I have my James Charles palette, which I have not used um, enough. I got it when it came out. I think I got it with the second uh, restock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've only used the gold, okay? And I was floored by it. So I'm thinking of using, look how beautiful these colors are. I need to like get in there. So I'm looking at what color my shirt is. Uh, but I think I do want to go, you know what? I think, yeah, let's do the gold and let's get a nice dabbing brush. So this one looks clean to me. <laughs> so we will tap. And where did I put it on? I put it on this side. So I'm gonna put it onto my eyelid. And I'm seeing beautiful, subtle, beautiful, subtle gold. Oh, oh my. Okay, fine. I'll do it a little more. <laughs> it's so stunning. It's so, so stunning. It's, oh, you guys. This one is much better than, oh yeah, lots of fallout, but hey, uh, this is so much easier to put on than the Smashbox gold. Beautiful. Uh, and then in the corner of the eye, let's go with this light color. What is this one called? So the gold that I used was so gold. And I'll do ring light. Actually, no. My friend told me face. Oh, my God. It was funny. She said that this is the highlight. I'm like, James Charles has a highlight? And she said, yes, this is it. So for my highlight, my brush is the non-typical. Not this one. Where's my brushes? Can I, can I not see what the heck my brushes are? So it's like this one. But, oh, it is this one because this is the smaller one. 
this is my highlight brush. I swear it's bigger actually. It's smaller. I guess they fell out, everything moved. Let's use this one. No, this one will be for eyes for later. Am I missing like two brushes? Oh well. Let's use this baby for my highlight. And where I highlight is here. Today we're using James Charles palette for highlights. And I highlight here. And I highlight here. And I highlight here. Not contour, highlight. <laughs> I highlight here even though I don't ever need it. And I do a tapping job and it's, it is what it is. I probably should stop doing that, but anyways. Uh, oh, I didn't do my brows yet, but I took this out because I wanted to use it here in the corner eyes. And I do go over, like I, I don't just do close eye like I used to, I go more out and show off that color. And then Tati, who I watch, has indicated she started putting a light color down in here to make her eye pop. And I tried it, I'm like, yes, that works for me. I'm actually realizing I'm missing, I'm missing more darkness. See, this is what I was telling you where I don't use enough dark and I think I could use more dark for my eyes. But we are going for natural, so if I can hold back, that'll be okay. What is this black? Where's this? Where did that come from? Trying to remove it. And I'm getting my red skin come through. <laughs> so then what I do is to get my blender and tap over it. And yes, I'm one of the people, maybe the only person, I don't know. Oh my God, my red is coming through. I'm sweating. I am hot. Maybe this is what's happening. Um, I am one of those people that leaves the color on. Like, if I get some black mascara, I tap off a little bit, but it still shows through. Like, it's not perfect. And it's like, you know what? That happened. <laughs> and if I do a bigger job trying to remove it, my makeup's going to come off. So I don't do that. So let's move on to the brows, because often or sometimes I do my brows before I do um before I finish my makeup my eye makeup uh or sometimes before I start so back to my lovely um Smashbox palette I use the brush pencil I tap in here whatever and let me just do them on the mirror so I do my first strip my first swipe on the top part the top front of my brow and then if there's anything left over, I stick it into the middle from the brush before I go dip into the pan again. And I go again, dip it, and now I do the bottom. Let me do it here. Oink, 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 oink. I try to go higher than lower, but here's my brow. And then I do a third dip into the pan, and I... Do the bottom part of the brow and I'm still one of those people that does the ombre because I don't have hair up at the front or too much front so here's my eyebrow I could make it a little thinner thicker hi thank you so much for joining but I but I'm not going to because I'm really trying to do the the daytime look right here's the brush on my other eyebrow which is my sister and not my twin i have to keep reminding myself because they are sisters a few years apart because <laughs> they're so different second dip into the pan to do the outer part of the eyebrow oh my god guys i just had a craving for sushale yes my eyebrows are 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 dark um, and so I don't shy away from the fact that like I'm not of course a natural blonde and um, 
and let my roots show. So instead of going the lighter color, I embrace it because I also do have the darker brows. And this is me. I mean, it's me. I could go lighter. I have used this brown for my eyebrows and it does work. And I will tell you honestly, it works because my brush is still uh, with the uh, eyeshadow from the darker color. So really it's kind of like them mixing together to make them appear lighter. But so here are my sisters that are, you know, a few years apart. These are very different eyebrows, but um, this is what I have and I find it funny. I do. So let us do, because again, I forgot to bring my eyeliner. Uh, uh. My favorite's liquid eyeliner. I have like an itch here. So I'm tapping it with my nail. Let me see what are we going to do. I'm going to try to do, should I do black? I kind of want to do black today. Uh, but I want to do just regular black, not shiny glitter black. My favorite is the eyeliner. Or sorry, yeah, liquid eyeliner, which I think I mentioned. So I'm going to use, I'm working on using the Julep Kajal Eye Glider. So they had this out way back when, so it is a little bit old. Uh, but let's... Oh, it does work. Maybe when it's older, it works better. Because I would have it, like, dry. See, look at this. Mmm. I'm so impressed. Before I went, I used to use this. It was, it was this, this eyelid, because I have, like, a little bit of a lazy eye. Uh, this eye, when I close it, the pupil goes over top of where I'm going to do the line. And it's bumpy and my eye moves my eyeball moves under my eyelid so I have to hold my eye so I do this and then I I tap or I pat in the color as opposed to um, as opposed to drawing on it because everything moves I have so much uh, skin so I'm doing this and then let's use a brown down on the lower lid. And I'm going to use the brown part of this Kajal pencil, which is called, oh, I used carbon black and here's a brown shimmer. So here we go. Me not wanting to use the shiny part of uh, eyeshadows, but sorry, eyeliners, but I am. And so that's okay. I'm doing it because I don't want to go looking for the brown. <laughs> the non-shiny brown in my um, eye pencils. <laughs> so here's this. So I think this is on the very natural side. However, I do have the, the brown peeking through here. Let's call this done for eyes. So next I'm going to take out my favorite uh, double extend wear, favorite uh, economical, what do you call it? Inexpensive. Um, Mascara and basically for me any L'Oreal that is on the uh, Cheaper side at the store is what I pick up because it's kind of like a no fail uh, For me with the L'Oreal's I love them uh, So this I think was my first one and I got it because there was some sale or something on it or it was a warehouse sale and uh, Yeah, the other one I love is Estee Lauder. I have a little Estee Lauder somewhere. It's it's finished, but the wand was out of this world. I like long lashes. I like volume, but I like length more. And to me, I'm satisfied with the volume that I have of lashes. So again, I'm looking for length. And one day, I will use... Um, Falsies, false eyelashes. And until then, I'm going to show you guys no falsies with the more natural look. But uh, I'm very eager to get into it. And at the same time, I'm now thinking about going and doing the um, magnetic ones because the ones with the glue really take me a long time. You have to practice, you have to cut it, apply, put the glue on, wait, blow on it, and then try to put it on. Oh, oh, it's going to take me a better part of two years, to I think, to get it on straight. But anyways, 
here's me putting on the, I don't know, conditioner or primer on the eyelid. I lashes and I wait. I wait for them to dry because they look better. But so here's the, um, here's the lashes of what they do to my eyeballs. They make them stand out more. Oh, yeah. Shadow. <laughs> no shadow. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm working on the eyes. I did this. Let's maybe do a little bit of blush today. And uh, one that I love is the MAC. I was at the store and I'm like, this is too dark, but it looks great. And uh, no, I have not hit pan, of course. This is Peachy Keen Sheen Tone. Sheer Tone? Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush by MAC. I love MAC. Uh, so we are getting my blush brush which I hope this is called the blush brush. See, one thing I got right, I'm using the right brush for this baby. So here's where my cheeks are. And so I go up here. And uh, sometimes I feel like my face is too small because I got the cheeks here, I got the contour, and then here's the highlighter. Like everything's so close together up there. <laughs> but uh, here we go. We did that. That's all that I do because I am so red. I'm so red. So I need to take, I like to take away the redness. I like to take away the shine. So next is going to be my bronzing brush that I use for bronzing. Not sure if this is officially what it's called, but my favorite is the Body Shop uh, Baked Bronze Shade Warm Glow in number two. And I actually got a crap ton of these. And uh, I thought I was gonna finish them and I still have a crap ton, meaning three, I have three. <laughs> so here's the second one that I have opened. The first one's I don't know where. And these just never go down. Okay, they probably have gone down, but anyways. So I do bronzer up here. You're gonna be like funny. You're gonna laugh, but maybe not. So I do bronzer here, up top. Try not to go over. I do go over often too because I'm like, I need to get darker. I'm too pale. Uh, I go over my eyelid pretty much with any, with any makeup that I put on, I put this on top. And to me, there's something that just gives them the extra, wow. So here we go. I see my, my zits showing, but, and then I can go over here. Still didn't do lips and still didn't finish the, um, uh, mascara. So let's go back into mascara. I have left the house on more than one. O Wrong one. I have left the house on more than one occasion using uh, just the white part. And then I'm like, oh. I'm like, well, do I go to a, a store and pick up mascara? And I'm like, who cares? I don't have to look at myself. Just don't look at myself. Nobody's going to care because I'm actually wearing more makeup than I usually do. But so here's what I love about my. Yeah. Yeah. I love about L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal mascaras. They don't do me wrong. And I have, um, I don't know. I have not a uh, standard eye shape, I think. Um, because it goes, it goes down here and then I have the crease, the fold. So it's really hard to do wings and uh after a long time look how wonderful i'm holding my my wand after a certain amount of time it starts to all get black crap here because i also laugh a lot uh and sometimes when i laugh again yeah, because it's like this uh everything comes together and then it opens up like with the blackness how it's how it transfers oh and so when i laugh and i cry excuse me I'm, um, it gets stuck, so I'll go to the bathroom and it's like, move. Oh my god, excuse me. Move, move, and it doesn't move. So here's my babies. <laughs> and I'm still, I guess I'm like supposed to be this pale, but I have rosacea, as I said, and I wear uh, makeup so little. Because when I do, I go all out, so I need like at least an hour, 40 minutes to get ready. Uh, let me just take a drink here before I before I put my lipstick on. And which lipstick are we doing? I'm thinking of doing. I love Kylie Jenner. Love, love, love. They are so smooth. 
they stay on most of most of them most of the time they stay on no matter what when uh, they don't or whatever I also use this baby uh, which I read the reviews on and it is outstanding it stays on it's called no my lips are sealed lipstick top coat and the brand is called no my lips are sealed and if you're in Canada these are at shoppers drug mart I think for $35 very hefty price in my opinion there's no other option out there from what I've seen when I looked I'm trying to find my my uh, my shade of um, lipstick and I'm gonna use this one to match these lovely colors so here's this which is the autumn Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick and I love buying the kits so that I can uh, do it proper how they want you to with the uh, liner and the lipstick and so this looks like I've never used it but I thought I used it already so here's what I'm gonna look I like these lips I like the the dark on them showing that I have like some contour going on or well I have contour this is what happens when I'm talking okay I have to bite it off oh sorry for seeing my hair okay you can see the the highlight or sorry the contouring but that's what it is okay so we start here it's so smooth it's so smooth there's no pulling it's like butter I think that you've heard people say that it's like butter so what I'm doing is overlining I don't know think I'll be able to pull this off but um we'll see and uh I probably should have put more foundation there so uh I'm putting I'm overlining here I'm trying to overline here and then gonna go inside and not go to the end of my lips Kind of like that. All right, and then this side. That's my cat who jumped down. And we call him Guinness, because he's a bad boy. We don't call him Guinness because he's a bad boy. We call him Guinness because it's not, it's him who did it. Like the jump is him and he's a bad boy. And I'm wrong, it was Pepper, my 15 year old. She just walked by, so I know she came from the kitchen counter. So here's my lips. <laughs> oh. That's her scratching on the car cardboard scratch pad. I made a boo-boo. Oh, well. We'll see who can fix it. And so here's the list. And then I see them do this. I see them do this. And I see the the this to try to get the color on and stay on the whore. And this works on some of her Kylie Jenner lipsticks. You need this because the liquid comes off. And other times everything comes off. And other times nothing comes off. But they are very pigmented. And I love it. And they change color with wear because they go from the shiny to matte. It's not even shiny really. Oh my lips are dry. Something happened down here. <laughs> I'm I'm hilarious, I know. Trying to cheat my way on a lips. There you go. I still cheated a little bit. And then this mark is off, but hey. And I keep doing it. I keep adding to it. Uh, not a good idea. Let me. Uh, you guys remember when you have lipsticks and eyeliners, especially gel ones. Um, yeah, I think they're called gel. You got to make sure it's, it's closed in because that's the trick on keeping them soft. Here I'm using a Q-tip. And that's the extent of what I will do. You could still see it a little bit. But to me, if I go over, I go too much. Uh, like if I keep dabbing it, it's going to show red and then I'm going to try to fix it and then it's going to, 
uh, be difficult putting the line back on like it's just gonna be a nightmare so that's what I'm doing and I walk away I have to because yeah it's a problem for me here's my lovely beautiful lipstick and I'll put it on camera for you it smells good are there scotch candy look look it's stunning autumn it's not autumn but mm-hmm mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be a little fun and I'm gonna do an extra coat of my mascara because uh, at this point I want them to stick out a little bit more Dun 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 dun! These babies, because I like length, remember? Another trick you can do is put, um, I, did I mess up? Mm. Is to put black eyeliner, or sorry, eyeshadow, dab it on. Or to put, um, baby powder. Wait for it to settle and then put it on more, because that's what they're using for the uh, lengthening. Not that, but something like that to put something so here's your lashes and then you coat it with either the eyeshadow or baby powder so it makes them thicker and makes them a little longer and I wait for it to dry because otherwise it'll just transfer with the uh, next coat but wait for it to dry just try to hold out a few minutes three minutes five five minutes is even better so it seems like that's it that's the eyeshadow even sorry eyeshadow eyelashes even though when they're white because you've used uh, baby powder then you coat it and then you're just like whoo they're longer and thicker you can go overboard or at least I can go overboard and uh, so go easy but if I go less just practice yourself if you're interested in trying it and if you know how to do it <laughs> so here is my look let me see if I for if I've left anything out so I did uh, foundation I did eyebrows I did eyes mascara liner uh, highlight contour I did blush and I did lips and here's my uh, cheat with the contouring and uh, I have my my fake jaw <laughs> this one looks better I think this is the lighting that that throws it off and then you can I did some uh, darkening over here to try to show my chin um, <laughs> This is my look. I hope you I hope you enjoy it. Let me come over here because there's videos that are going to pop up. So feel free to take a look at these videos. Um, I do have a lot of content and I'm growing uh, and I'm I'm growing because I'm eating at home so much. <laughs> Man. OK, so I'm making videos and uh, there's live streams and there's stuff that I upload and I'm doing some pet stuff and some me stuff and maybe eventually I'll do some renovation stuff because I love renovating. But till then, uh, it'll be makeup and nails. And so feel free, if you could, to stay tuned for the next uh, live stream or video where I will be fixing these guys because they are ready to go. Um, what else did I want to say? Please leave a comment down below on what you liked about this and what you would like to see next. I do reply to comments. I look forward to them. And uh, again, like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.